In a controversial move, Afghanistan President Hamid Karzai has proposed giving financial incentives to Taliban fighters to turn away from al-Qaeda and to reintegrate into Afghan society. We must reach out to all of our countrymen, especially our disenchanted brothers, who are not part of al-Qaeda or other terrorist networks who accept the Afghan constitution. The UN has revealed secret talks with members of the Taliban Leadership Council have already taken place. Whilst the Afghan government has invited Taliban insurgents to the Council of Elders in an attempt to find a peaceful accord, talks that have been backed by US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Don't make peace with your friends. Uh, you uh, have to uh, be willing to engage with uh, your enemies if you expect to create a uh, situation that ends in insurgency. But the proposal has had a mixed reception. Ex-Afghan presidential candidate Abdullah Abdullah says the opportunity for a peaceful resolution has already been missed. This is the same leadership, the same government which missed the golden opportunity of the consensus among the Afghan people as well as consensus among the international community when we started with the process. And today, in every aspect of life, the situation is worsen. British Prime Minister Gordon Brown says 2010 will be crucial in deciding the future of the war-torn country. This is a decisive time for the international cooperation that is helping the Afghan people secure and govern their own country. There are over 100,000 coalition troops in Afghanistan, and more are on the way. But with public support for the war waning, the United States and its allies are eager to find a way out.